Listen, Cutler is incredibly valuable, by the way, JR. Incredibly valuable. Is that why you guys talk down to him all the time? No, we just keep him in line. Do you understand me? Like, I'll keep you in line. Matt Hardy, what an ovation. From Perry, North Carolina, weighing 221 pounds, Matt Hardy. Jeff Hardy here as well. Surprised to see him. He's a little banged up after Sunday night. What a tag team match that was, Excalibur, Sunday night. It certainly was. And Jeff Hardy unable to compete here tonight, but he handpicked this man to take his place. Next, from Seattle, Washington, weighing 175 pounds, Darby Allen. Don't you think that Darby Allen watched a few Hardy Boys matches in his youth? I do. I tell you what, one of the matches that, that kind of stole the show, Excalibur, Sunday was this match. Yeah, Darby Allen and Kyle O'Reilly went at it. Hammer and tongs. Darby looking for revenge for O'Reilly, injuring the ankle of Sting. But Kyle O'Reilly was able to score the win. A big night for the undisputed elite, Adam. Yeah, Darby makes a bunch of stupid mistakes, stupid high risk, just like the Hardy Boys do. Speaking of stupid, stupid. Here are the World Tag Team Champions. Chris Jim Page and the AEW World Tag Team Champions, Jungle Boy and Lucha Sonics. Listen, they may be the AEW Tag Team Champions, but you got two of the best tag teams in the entire world teaming up here tonight to take on the so-called champs in Red Dragon and the Young Bucks. Not only is it a homecoming for the Young Bucks here tonight, a homecoming for Jungle Boy and Luchasaurus as well. The big lizard makes LA his home. Uh, the LeBron Tarpets, to be exact. Sure. As far as I'm concerned, the Young Bucks own California. This is their country, this is their city, this is their uh -oh. state, whatever you want to call it. Well, Darby not wasting any time. I thought Darby Allen and the Kyle O'Reilly were just amazing on Sunday night. Yeah, so many good. amazing matches. A lot of California connections in this one. Riverside, California native, Rick Knox, the referee. Here we go. 